So not just Sega, this is an unofficial 400 gigabyte coin ops build. Everything from Xbox 360, Wii, Wii U, GameCube, Nintendo 64, your Super Nintendo, your Sega 32X, Dreamcast, Naomi. You've got arcade classics on here. You've got Game & Watch. You've got computer classics. The list goes on and on and on and on. Uh, we're going to check out this build. It's extensive. If you like Dragon Ball Z, it's very much Dragon Ball Z themed, but an extensive set of... Uh, systems and uh, pretty beautiful and uh, we're just gonna check this one out uh, let's see what we have so here it is when it's all said and done you do have to unzip it I use 7-zip to do that um, an Xbox 360 controller an Xbox one style controller it's plug-and-play um, you know there's an extra settings file here I think one is for like a backup potentially um, and then like this file here is from one of the add-on packs they left in but uh, all this other stuff should seem pretty standard and uh, again you know you go to your collections here there's a lot of systems and a lot of games so let's just go ahead and jump into it um, if you do want to mess with any of the visual settings you can do that here or within coin ops itself and then there's a couple other things you can mess with here but uh, it should be working um, long story short this is kind of a pre-built a little bit of everything coin ops build everything from Nintendo switch down to some computer classics and uh, MAME arcade games so when you launch in you will get his little boot up splash video and it should just yep go on its own or you can hit a button and it'll actually fast forward so I'm just getting into this now. So as far as settings, you know, you have, like I said, you have all, you can change all your glass effects and everything here. You can change systems by going left to right. You do get Ultimate Ultra Street Fighter 4, and then it's in alphabetical order here. Um, before I get into it, just my overall thoughts. Um, if you're just looking for something with a little bit of everything, this is a really cool build. However, if you want all the bells and the whistles and you want like all the Dreamcast games, you want all the Jaguar games, all the Amiga games, all the Nintendo, like Nintendo CS, 3DS, it's gonna be huge amounts of games. Um, if you want all that stuff, um, you know, you're talking, you know, terabyte plus. So this is kind of a down and dirty, I don't have a big hard drive, but I want a little bit of everything and it's gonna scratch a lot of your itches for that reason. So let's go again and get into the collections here. So you have Arcade Cabinet, which is your main games. Basically your arcade classics. And just looking over this arcade set, it's pretty much the same one that comes with the stock Coin Ops Next base image. If you guys see me do a video on that, oop, I, I didn't accidentally hit right there. But um, you do have to click into each um, the way he has it set up is you have to click into each menu item. But uh, this is basically the Coin Ops Next. Uh, it does have some cool games on it though. Tekken, I think you know it's got Killer Instinct. It's got an, it's got a nice uh, arcade set. Everything from old school to newer games. I mean, only an S. Yeah, wow. There's a lot of games on here. <laughs> Um, so, some shoot 'em ups, some side scrollers, some fight club, some run and guns, some nice racing games. I don't know if you just saw Ridge Racer there, uh, Puzz Fighter, Killer Instinct, or not Killer Instinct, but Primal Rage, all the outruns, Ninja Gaiden, NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat, so you have Ultimate, all your Metal Slugs. Look at that, you have all your different uh, versions of X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel superheroes. You have the Boss Edition as well, added on both of those games. Mappy. So you get Lemmings, you get all the classics plus some of the new stuff. All the King of the Fighters, Killer Instincts we just passed, the Jurassic Park game, Indiana Jones, Gunbirds. Wow, G.I. Joe's in there, Fatal Fury, Dungeons and Dragons, Double Dragon, Donkey Kongs, Die Hards, Dig Dug, Cruising USA, Contra, Centipede. Wow, there's actually a lot more than I thought. Okay, so huge arcade base. 
And I think that's kind of the coin ops thing to do, you know, which makes sense, which is, you know, I feel like coin ops kind of has its roots in the arcade. I mean, that's why they have all those scan line options and everything else. So Sega Mega Drive, um, I imagine, why is there a duplicate here? I was like, it's maybe one for Sega 32X or something? I don't know. So yeah, there's a duplicate. There's a couple of duplicates. That's weird. So that looks like a little mistake. Whoa, is that, oh, okay, American Gladiators. I was like, is that? So this does look like you get the whole set of games. They just dragged and dropped the whole collection here. I mean, the, okay. So you do have a huge Mega Drive collection. I'm glad they didn't skimp there because they're just so small ROM files anyways. Like why are you gonna, you know, you're not saving much space. But here with Super Nintendo, it looks like they did only give you the best of the best. Like all the best selling games. Okay. All right, so here's Sega 32X. So there's no, okay, look, there's only three games for Sega 32X. We go over to 3DO. And as far as this theme, I mean, it's cool. I don't really like these little buttons with the white. I just feel like that the regular coin ops see like only Road Rash for 3DO. Ega. Not very many either. What is that? Like, oh no, okay. There's a lot. Okay, here we go. I thought it had flipped around. So a lot of computer classics here. Nice big Amiga collection. But what I was saying about the visuals is um, the uh, I like this screen a lot. I just don't like those little, those little buttons. See the Amiga logo? Like they're okay. I just feel like I, the buttons themselves are fine. Actually, it's more the um, it's more of the. the way it's it's backgrounded here so i was trying to get through all the men all the games <laughs> just keeps going on forever uh it's a huge amiga collection i'm not going to spend too much time there it looks like they have almost every amiga game but um what i was saying is like see how it's like white and then there's like a pill in there i just graphically it doesn't do it for me nintendo 3ds so pretty nice collection. You know, some of the really good games, Mario Kart, New Super Mario Brothers, the Pokemons. You got Sonic Generations, Star Fox 64 3D, Super Mario 3D Land, you've got Street Fighter 3D Edition, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So pretty good 3DS games. You got your Amigas and your Taris and your Taris and your Colicos. Dreamcast. You got Mega Man, Cannon Spike, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2, House of the Dead 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, Soul Calibur, Pod Racer, Street Fighters, Zero Gunners, and then back to Cannon Spike. So this is what's kind of weird to me. Like, why is there some of these are the pill and then some of these are non pill, you know? That's weird. That's I mean, maybe it's a pet peeve of mine, but Game Boy Advance, 56 games. My antivirus is off. <laughs> I mean, that's a good point. I turn that off when I'm using checking out these builds because otherwise they sometimes delete some of these files or won't run the emulators. So I just turn it on and off. And then here you go. So I'm guessing this is, you know, this makes sense that they dragged like a Mega Man build into this. And that's why those are pills. And those are not. A lot of Pokemons there. So far I'm really liking the Nintendo Portable selection on this whole build. So only 10 Game Boy Color games. And only 13. So yeah, he, he did some sort of Mega Man collection on this build, and so all the Mega Man are, are like that. GameCube, there's your Mega Man. Great. 
Great game right there. Rogue leader. So 27 GameCube games. Pretty big game 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 GameCube selection. Game and Watch, those are your little handheld games. 14 total. In television, got 105. It's a lot of in television. So when you add up all these games, you got to be well over a thousand. So Cody, I'll check that out later. So here's that Mega Man. This must be all of them right here. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense that the artwork here <clears throat> is then borrowed everywhere else. And that makes sense. So having the pill here looks gorgeous, right? But now you have all these, you know, pills kind of scattered around the different consoles. Probably the same with the Mugen games as well. Oh, no. Okay. So those ones are not. That's pretty cool. I'd like to check those out. Super graphics. We've got five. Pretty standard five you see on everything. Neo Geo. 143. So that's a whole set right there. That's all of them. Or majority. And then 93 here. That's the majority as well. You're going to have pretty much everything there. Nintendo 64. Only 17. And there's your Mega Man. But uh, not too many. Nintendo DS, not 3DS. Got a lot of Mega Man. You got 91 games here, quite a bit. You got Metal Slug 7. You got your Sonic, Super Mario 64 DS. Oh, I didn't quite finish all those. And yes, there's a Nintendo Switch emulator on here we're going to get to in a second. Um, Nintendo. Nintendo Switch, they only have Super Mario Odyssey. And it is in French. So you have to change the uh, origin, the do you know, or the region. and uh, But you can play Super Mario Odyssey. And it's all pre-set up for you. It actually runs. I didn't have to install anything. It's, it's just kind of laggy, even on my computer, which is, like, really good. So it's not perfect emulation. You guys want to play some Tetris Virtual Boy? Uh, but that's cool that they have it. TurboGrafx-16, 94. That's pretty much all of them. That's the majority of the main ones. Okay. PC games. Let's see what they got here. Mega Man Zero, Mega Man 11, Mega Man vs. Street Fighter, Street Fighter Ultra 4. Okay, so a lot of people like that. And then back to this. So it's only about four, yeah. So Pop Cap games. Those are like your, you know, these type of games. The games that come for free when you ride airplanes with, you know, um, entertainment built in. So there's 44 uh, games here. I don't see these a lot on images, so if you're into it, they even have a World of Warcraft version. Plants vs. Zombies. Nice. I don't know if I'd want to play that on my computer, but somebody might. PlayStation 1. What do we got? I imagine not too many games. Yeah, 29. Because these are big games. A lot of Mega Man. R-Type. Spyro. PlayStation 2, we got 21 games. Again, really big games. A lot of those Mega Mans. We got Outrun, great game. Tekken 5, cool. PlayStation 3, you got FIFA. So you have one PlayStation 3 game. PSP Minis, two, they got all of them. That's pretty much all of them right here. 321 Super Crash being one of my faves. PSP, what do we got? And we got Techno Parent on here too, 11 games. It's kind of weird that this one is a box art. I guess they couldn't find the marquee for it. Okay, so not great with the PSP. Only one Techno Parent, Virtual Tennis. Satellaview, you got 41. 
Oh, you have the Chrono Triggers on here, though. You got, uh, Sega CD. And you have Sonic CD. Alright, game... This is freaking a lot of systems. Game Gear, you have all of them, almost 300. Sega Master System, you probably have all of them. Yeah, over 300. I mean, you are gonna, you know, if you're looking for a specific game, it probably has it. Okay. Naomi, wow, this is a big set. 82. Dead or Alive 1 and 2, Crazy Taxi, Guilty Gear. So a lot of these games, you can either play the Naomi version or the Dreamcast version. Zombie Revenge, great game. Second Saturn, if I remember right, just like one game. Yeah, Street Fighter 3. SG-1000. 75. It's a pretty big set there. Sufami Turbo, Turbo. 15 games. Vectrex. 32. Wii U. One game. Wii. You got 10 games. Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, Super, New Super Mario Bros. Punch-Out, Galaxy 1 and 2, Mega Man 9 and 10, and Kirby Yarn. Wonder Swan Color. Wow, we're almost at the end here. 206, so quite a bit. Xbox 360. Wow, 49 games. That's pretty good. Asteroid Deluxe, Banjos, Doom 1 and 2. It's quite a game, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins. The Pinball Arcade. Pinball FX on here, nice. Sonic 4. even have Tetris Splash. <laughs> if you ever needed a, a new Tetris version, you gotta check out Tetris Flash. And then you got Alien Breeds 1, 2, and 3. Alright, and then you got Zinc, and then the last one is Street Fighter. Oh wow, you got some, a lot of games on here. Tekken. All right. Okay, whatever this is about. <laughs> and then you got your Ultimate Street Fighter. And then don't forget you have your settings over here.
All right, final remarks while we play this. Um, love the bezels. Love just the number of systems. If you like Mega Man, look no further. You are in Mega Man heaven. Um, overall, I think people you're, people who just want a little bit of everything, it's a great middle of the ground. 400 gigabytes is a good size. Um, it's a little bit of a pain because you're gonna be downloading the zip file and then you gotta unzip it still so you might need an external hard drive to fit all this stuff um, I know there's some software that might be able to extract it while using the original file size where it like deletes it as you you know extract it but with me I just you know had an external hard drive extracted it onto the external hard drive uh, and went from there um, I, uh, a lot of the controls were set up, but not all of them were set up. I noticed a lot of it were set up for keyboard. Um, but some of this is keyboard and mouse only, like some of the pop games and stuff. So, um, it's not perfect in those regards. It's like plug and play. And then, like I said, the problem with 400 gigabytes is it's, it's comprehensive, but you you might have a lot of, uh, you know, excess things that you don't actually want. So, I think that's going to be the biggest downside to a lot of people. A um, couple visual things that, you know, I pointed out that weren't that great. Um, based on looking at this, again, I don't know, you know, I grab a lot of this stuff and I don't necessarily know the backstory. I kind of don't like knowing the backstory. I like just looking at something and looking at it from, you know, just like I'm trying it out. I know nothing about what the thinking was. just want to check it out for myself. And so this one, um, like I said, it, it just it doesn't seem like it was made by the ground up. It seems like somebody took a base image and then added some packs to it. Just made sure those packs were working and then released this. Um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, 90% of this is working just fine. And uh, I really, what I really enjoyed was the Xbox 360. You don't see that a lot in Zinc games. Uh, a couple other systems you just don't see all the time. It would have been cool to see Sega Model 2 and Sega Model 3 added to this. And then a couple other, you know, maybe some Techno Parrot. Um, but I'm not mad at, like, the Wii, the Wii U, and the, uh, and then the, what's the newest one? The Nintendo Switch. I'm not mad at that at all. I think it's pretty cool to add to you. PlayStation 3 as well, you know, it's such a big file. I can see why you don't want to do that. But yeah, when you get into these bigger systems like PSP, PS2, PS3, you know, you really don't have that many games. Um, which, you would think that 300 gigabytes is a lot of space, but it's, uh, it's really not when you start loading this stuff up, so.
All right, so I think I'm going to end it there. Um, so that's it. That's the unofficial ultimate image. If you like uh, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, and Mega Man, it seems like that was kind of a reoccurring theme on here with all systems and uh, a, just a wide variety of systems. I got to give them that really good. Um, overall, I'm going to give this like a B plus, A minus. It's, you know, for the most part, all there. Like I said, little hiccups here and there. Um, what I would love to see is like a one terabyte all said and done image. Um, you know, when you get to these smaller systems, he did include all this, all of the games, which are really good. And then I just wasn't a huge fan of this theme, you know, I'm, but I'm not that big into Dragon Ball Z. So I can, if you're into Dragon Ball Z, I can see you loving this. But, um, you know, Coin Ops as a whole is an awesome, awesome system. So I, I do like the front end as a whole. So there you have it. That's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.